Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome back to Natasha's Creations. So last week I did a video on things that I hate and so I figured I'd be more positive this week and do a video on some of the things that I love. <laughs> So the first thing that I love is the color blue. I have loved that color probably since I started learning about colors. Like I think I got this like 64 pack of crayons when I was maybe five that I actually still have because it was such a treasure to me that I preserved it really well. And I picked up my favorite colors from there. And that's how like I learned to differentiate between like different shades and tints of colors. And blue green or green blue I think was my favorite and then I learned that aquamarine was my birthstone which is also kind of like a bluish green so I really love that color and that morphed into cerulean which is my absolute favorite shade of blue I think it's supposed to represent the sky but to me it looks more like water which is an element that I really like and then also cerulean city is misty's gym in pokemon and I love the badge for the Cerulean City Gym. And Cerulean is my favorite color. But overall, anything blue, I will enjoy. <laughs> Next is s'mores. I think specifically, I like chocolate covered marshmallows. And the first time that I went to this big candy store in New York City that I don't remember what it's called, as soon as you walked in, there was this chocolate fountain with marshmallows and I dipped a marshmallow in chocolate for the first time ever. This was like in high school. And it tasted like a piece of heaven. And now I am obsessed with chocolate covered marshmallows and s'mores. I also like the whole bonfire aspect of it. Roasting marshmallows and eating s'mores. A lot of my best memories were from bonfire parties. So I just really like s'mores. I also really love googly eyes. I like the whole idea of giving inanimate objects life. And googly eyes do a great job of that. So yeah, I like sticking googly eyes on random things. It just makes me really happy. <laughs> Next is Pokemon. Pokemon was my first love. I became obsessed with it when I was seven. I think that was when Gen 2 came out. I don't watch the show anymore. I can't sit through an episode, but I love the game and the movies are still really good. And I collect Pokemon plushies. My favorite Pokemon of all time is Togepi. And then I also really love Oshawott and the whole Hatena line, and then Sinisty and Poltegeist. I think I just love it because it just combines a lot of things that I love, like anime and animals and biology and cute things and adventures. And it's just a really great franchise overall. Like they've done such a great job over the past 25 years. Speaking of which, another favorite thing of mine is animals. I am constantly finding new animals to obsess over and I just love all animals and nature and I'm hugely passionate about wildlife preservation. I have a whole list of animals that I would love to have as pets or at least see at some point in my life. And I'm super excited for the next season of Animal Amazement because I have some really cool random animals to talk about and some common ones. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. <laughs> Speaking of things on my channel that I love, history and culture. I'm really into the Victorian period and ancient Greece. I love Greek mythology and the whole like culture of Athens and Greek life is really interesting. Same with Victorian times. I think I mostly like Victorian times for their stories. Like a lot of classics came out of the 19th century and there was just this magic of that time like secret gardens and fairy forests and technology was advancing really rapidly so people were struggling with the balance between modern life and classic life i guess and i think that's where steampunk comes from and there was just a lot of imagination like time machines and just the possibilities were endless during that time and the 1920s obviously i did a whole video on that i think to me the 20s just represents this weird type of freedom and this kind of like carefree attitude even if it wasn't really what was going on at the time 
Next is tiny things inside little things, like this little tiny box. When you open it up, it's got a little key in it. And I also really like keys for some reason. I like tiny little containers with tiny little things in them. Like dollhouses are also really cute. Like little tiny things that like should be big things inside little things. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Speaking of things inside things, I also really love eggs. Probably has something to do with what I just talked about, like little dollhouses and things being kept inside them, or maybe it's just the whole mind-blowing concept of life being inside this tiny little sphere. But I think it's also why Togepi is my favorite Pokemon, and I really like Gudetama. And those like Russian really decorative eggs that become really popular around easter and you can like open them and also put things inside them and then i also really like stuffed animals i think as an adult i have a right to a stuffed animal collection and i've also been incorporating stuffed animals into my art a lot i think it's a really cool reflection of life in a way and they're also just really comforting and I like holding on to plushies, um, especially if I'm anxious. It's just a good way to calm me down. Speaking of things that I like to hold on to when I'm anxious, rocks. I did a video, I think, last year of my rock collection, and that has since grown. I found a lot more rocks that I really like. I like both the science behind them and the symbolism and kind of like magical lore behind different rocks. Rocks are just super fascinating and really pretty. Like, I love gemstones. Also really obsessed with meteorites, things that just come from the sky. Like, that's really cool. They don't come from here, and a lot of them are as old as the solar system and can teach us a lot about how the solar system formed. And some of them also have organic material that can teach us a lot about how life formed. And rocks are just really cool. And speaking of collections and things that I've talked about on my channel, hand fans, which was one that I almost forgot to put on this list. I already did a whole video on why those are awesome and on my collection, which hasn't really grown since then, but I did get like a little hand fan pin and a little hand fan charm for my Pandora bracelet because I really like fans. I like the whole history behind them and they're just fun to play with, like opening and closing them. I could do that just mindlessly as a little fidget toy for hours. And they're functional. Like I use my fans in the summer all the time. And they're just super pretty to look at. Like the designs and the paintings on some of them are just really intricate and beautiful and amazing. Also the arts, all of them. I love theater and music and art in general and crafts. I also really like science, but I think art is my main passion. And I'm really excited to make more of like my history and culture videos focusing on the arts. Art is my thing and you should check out my art Instagram link below. I'm also going to talk about keys because I made a key necklace and I really like keys. I think I like the kind of like mystery and like intrigue of like a skeleton key. There's something kind of just magical about it. I feel like keys are really symbolic. Also the whole concept of like owning something, like it's a key to something that you own, like a car or house. Keys give you access to something valuable. So all of this talk of keys and blue and stuffed animals reminded me of this little Stife Tiffany teddy bear that I just got. It's really cute, and I've decided that I really like Tiffany, even though this is the only thing I could probably afford from there. And Tiffany's also has that whole line of key design jewelry and keychains, so. So now I'm just gonna gush about Tiffany's. Besides everything I just said, they also have a line of animal themed jewelry and 100% of their profits goes to wildlife preservation. And they have a line of tactile jewelry, which obviously I would love if I could afford and they work with really great designers like Picasso's daughter which is a piece of history which is also something that I love 
and their diamonds are ethically sourced which is also something that i appreciate and they work with stones which are rocks which i also love so i think i'm adding tiffany and co to the list of things i love and the final thing on my list of things that i love are puffball creatures or pom-pom critters whatever you want to call them i think i became a little obsessed with them around fifth grade when i discovered the pom-pom and started putting googly eyes on them my best friend and i stayed up all night one night making little pom-pom critters for like all the kids in our class and that was a huge hit it was a lot of fun now they're just everywhere like i can make them out of anything i've made a few pygmy puffs are really big because of harry potter and fantastic beasts and worry pets are also like a type of little pom-pom creature, little puffball critter. So they're just really popular. I think they're always going to be popular. And I love them. They're just so fuzzy and adorable and soft and cute. Also, hamsters are just like little, little puffballs. And some puppies and kittens are also little puffballs. And it's just the best. <laughs> Hey, I'm doing the future Tasha thing again because I forgot pirates. I love the whole pirate aesthetic and the lore and sea shanties are fun and Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor of all time. And my favorite pirate of all time was um, Sam Bellamy. I really like his story. And I know that the pirate life wasn't as glamorous as we make it out to be today. It was pretty similar to, I guess, gang life is today. It's just the dangerous life of crime and a lot of people had no choice but to get into piracy. And I think that aspect of it also kind of fascinates me because I read Scorpions in sixth grade and I really love that book. So yeah, I just wanted to add pirates to this list. So those are all the things that I love. There's probably more that I forgot, but that's the list that I have for now. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. And if you like this video, like it. Tune in next week for, I think I might be doing a story time. So yeah, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.